And guys, welcome back to Resident Angels Reborn. I accidentally just clicked the head by accident by a sentence. Sorry about that. So, I guess we're going to start off a little tiny, tiny bit ahead with Zuri. Are you going to yell at me some more? I wouldn't blame you. You said you didn't do it. And when has anyone believed my innocence? Soul did. Huh? No way. He did. He told me that the one person on this ship I can always trust to be honest and forthcoming was you. He knows how much you pride yourself on being a warrior. I'm a joke. Don't say that. Not even you considered my side at first. I saw how angry you were at me and I thought, what? Tell me, Zuri, I want to know. Either I go again, screwing up another friendship because I can't be dependable. A real warrior is someone everyone admires, that everyone wishes to be. Nobody wishes to be me. Most people tell me they are glad they aren't me. Funny, right? No. It's so stuffy, it's hilarious. No. Really. Imagine hard working your working so hard your entire life to live up to an ideal, not even remotely being remotely good at it. Graceful, not blundering, focused, not distracted. Stoic stoic, stoic, stoic what? Or okay, well, not not. So he turns away from me and sits back down with her head her head buried in her arms. Not sure if Jamon can cry, but I know a depressed one when I see it. I'm sure that I'm, I'm violating her personal space, but I can take a seat on bed next to her. Her bunk is just as hot and cold as mine. These blankets do nothing against the cold. What do I say to her? I know what my leadership course leadership courses taught me on counseling, but this just doesn't remind me of any of the scenarios we went over. Why do you think that you're? Why do you think that? You're, ah, I'm messing up, man. Why do you think that you're so awful? Wait, I didn't mean to call you awful. I meant it's okay. I understand. I'm awful. Damn you, open-minded questions. You aren't helping me. Why do you think you aren't a real warrior? I'm not one. Am I a real warrior? When I sit here questioning herself, that's not what I meant. After they demoted me, I should have learned that I had known I was worthless at. Anything other than being a grunt. Lifting boxes and running around the track really fast. Shut up. Huh? What I'm trying to say is that you think... <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I'm messing up so much. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that you only think you're worthless. You aren't actually that way. But everyone. Screw everyone. Real warrior doesn't care about the opinions of others. She cares about her own opinion of herself. I know, but, but nothing. You are who you want to be. But you are who you think you are. How many times must I tell you that? Driving me crazy. Nobody can take away your pride in yourself other than you. I believe you can be a real hero, a, a real warrior. You can't let a mean or blind person or blind people hurt you. You have to fight. You have to take all that courage and all that honor in your heart and be fight. Oh, in your heart and fight. Where'd I get B from? Be the warrior you want to show the world. No, oh, those screw ups weren't my fault. Uh, then it's that moment about what you should have done. Focus on what you can do. You changed so much that you're driving soul crazy. Keep it up until you are a fighter you can be proud of being. Hee hee for a scholar. You certainly have the heart of a true warrior. You certainly are the dashing hero when you are worked up, Major. See, you shouldn't make assumptions. I feel a bit better, thanks. I know I'm innocent, and so will Commander Rasuna when you and Sol find the real culprit. The real culprit. I wish it was Zuri in the darkest parts of my heart. This mystery isn't going to lead me anywhere simple or pleasant. But the truth is out there. The truth can never die. Um, I know the evidence pointed at me. I know I'm a, I have looked like the villain, but it meant a lot to me. Even though you look so enraged, you still found it in your heart to trust me. Don't think anything of it. Don't say that. I'm touched. None of my seniors have ever stood up for me when I was getting in trouble. I'll find some way to repay your trust. My code demands it. Really, don't think anything of it. We're friends. What? what, what? Nothing. Jeez, don't look at me like that. I've seen something, Lieutenant Zuri. Sorry, Major. So, got any plans on how to keep yourself busy? I was going to spend them crying before, but I don't think that's such a good idea anymore. Nope, Soul would be disappointed even more if he heard a security officer was crying. Hmph. <laughs> yeah, now that Kika isn't going to be constantly camping out in here, 
Might have enough room to practice dances. You should practice your flute. Aw, you just gave this passionate speech that made me think I was wrong about you being a scholar. Why would you say that? I think you're hearing the words coming out of my mouth, but missing the key details. You're just proving a scholar label was the right one. Sigh. Oh, how about you help me with my candy shop game? I would, but electronic games aren't useful for honing, honing one's physical body and spirit to be a warrior. Seems pretty scholarly to me. Yep, I guess you're right. That's sad. I was looking forward to playing it. Dooley. Wait. Nope, I'm not. Hey. I take away her data pad before she could commit any sort of heinous crime against her safe house. No more innocent data will suffer this day. You can't do that. You have almost 20 hours into this game. Think of the characters you have unlocked. I'm not falling prey to things that would seduce me away from the path. Clearly you have played this level 20 times. That's mean. Besides, how are you supposed to trade skills if you deal at your game? You're going to teach me your martial arts, remember? Fine, it can stay. You're still going to keep playing it, right? I'm not as strong as I need to be, so I might... Maybe... I, I'm reading this and daydreaming me at the same time, and I don't know how I'm not messing up. Okay, don't let yourself give up on something that you find enjoyable. I won't, Elder. I'll stop by later. I need to go check up on Saul. Have fun. I'll still be here when you get back. I wish she didn't sound so sad when she said that. Saul's right. There was no line in her soul. I have to resist the urge to give her a hug and tell her one last time that everything will be fine. Keep your discipline, Natalie. Don't let your emotions overtake your professionalism. But she's my friend. They look, they kind of look like this, I think. Stupid pen. If only I had something that loved me to write in the glowing blue runic symbols. These pen scratches look nothing like the picture. I've been at this for almost three full days. I haven't had a decent meal or rest since the start of this. My batteries are far fat past deleted. This is just awful. I can't base my investigation off of drawings. It looks like something a three-year-old drew for her class. I doubt my decryption program on my defunct data pack could do anything with it. But I haven't. But I've been at this for three days. Every time I try to sleep, I come back here to milk my brain for any remaining drop of information that rock has been drained on any drop of memory. The only break I permitted myself is an occasional visit to Zuri's confinement. True to our mutual world word. We have been exchanging lessons. For a girl who can move as fluidly as the wind and quickly as lightning, her time is just awful in candy shop. She couldn't move a piece into the right place if her life depended on it. A glance at the ship chrono on the wall, it doesn't really matter when you work on your own schedule. It's good to see you are still alive, Natalie. Oh, hey, off shift already? Didn't you just replace Soul? That was almost 12 hours ago. Ah, oh, I've been in thought. Thinking is important, but don't lose track of the world around you. We tried calling for you a few hours ago. The shit, I remember that. Did you find any, someone on the sensors? Forgive us. It's not your fault. We'll go into the next site, right? Another failure. Who cares about getting that promotion? I'm more concerned about having a job by the end of this. With all haste, Kika isn't pleased with herself. She bet Faye her entire dinner that we were going to find the shuttle with your artifact on the first try. Faye bet against me. Faye likes food more. She'll take risks if the meal's great enough. He, well, I suppose I'll have to take a cut from her dinner later for that. Are you hungry? I bet Zer I was going to bring Zuri her meal. If I've been sitting here for 12 hours, I could use the break. Let me lock up first. 12 hours? I've been asleep by then. Hello, Zuri. There is a bit of commotion as Zuri ruffles something under her blanket and leaps to her feet. I keep telling you to knock, Al. Ooh, I wonder what she was doing. If you didn't want sh uninvited visitors, you should lock the door. Bah, oh, Nat. Hi, Zuri. How are you feeling? Some, same old, same old. It's so boring in here. Don't fret. Saul is trying to get the commander to remove you from being confined to quarters. It still sounds weird hearing Saul and doing something sweet in the same sentence. He really does what the... He really does want the best for his troops, even the ones who knocked him out, almost knocked him out, my bad. They knocked him out twice. Twice? What? He walked right into us. And went right into it. Man, I'm a terrible reader. I don't think that would be exactly the way he would describe it. I couldn't describe the incident at all. Touche. So what did you bring me? 
Faye felt so bad for you that she wanted to make tonight's dinner extra special. Is that her ling linguini? Slotting next to Alphonse with remarkable precision and haste. So it almost seemed like seemed like when I first met her. Faye's pasta must be something amazing. It is indeed. Nat, you've got to try this. Alphonse, there should be some small containers of noodles between us. I moved to sit down on Zuri's bread. Bad bread, what? But she nudges me to the side. Don't sit there. What are you hiding? Eat up. Why are you dodging my question? Yes, now eat up. There is so much better warm than cool. War is in our secrets. Alright, so let's dig in. Gurgling in my gut reminds me what I forgot to eat again today. I eagerly open the lid. Not eager to let the rum going consume my gut further. But the smell that wafts out of my container reminds me of a rotting carcass. The white gloop that covers my noodles makes me feel feel ill, not excited. I push the noodles around with my fork, though it takes a bit of effort to move the wheat noodles around in the pasta. This is edible. Could this be an attempt to assassinate me? Oh, when I find should look into face activities a little closer. Go on, you'll love it. Zora isn't even touching hers yet. She's watching me, waiting to judge my reaction to this mushy, chalky, slimy grossness. Well, even if that's just a joke, I'm not going. I'm not the one to back down. Bottoms up. For a split second, I had hoped this was going to prove my initial assumptions wrong. It said it proved Soul's assessment of face cooking accurate. It tastes like I just ate a salt shaker and tried to wash it down with bonding glue. How I managed to get a single spoonful down as an act of God. Well, what do you think? It's interesting. It's amazing. Soul and Carly won't touch it. They don't know what they're missing, right? True. They don't know, and it's probably for the better. Here, I know the flavor leaves much to be desired for human taste. Thanks for looking out for me. What are you two whispering about? A prayer before dinner. Ah. I take the glass of water and try to clean out the wax remains left on the roof of my mouth. At least my hunger is gone for now. So, Nally, we haven't talked much since you arrived. Are you settling in well? I'm still getting used to not seeing the sky or fresh air, but all just with time. If there's anything I can do to help you settle in, let me know. Isn't he so sweet? It's so hard to think that Alan and Saul were wingsmen when they were fighter pilots. Not initially, but we did serve Tom time in others' company. You do have an hack at making people feel welcome, Alphonse. And it's pretty cute too, right? He was that sweet, gentle boy next door feel. Alphonse gives Zuri a curious look for a split second before replacing it with that warm, natural smile. That's very nice of you to say, Zuri, though I think Saul might have the more classic, handsome look than I. Blad, the personality is rotten, though he doesn't know the phrase fun on the job means. Some would say you could learn much from him. He could teach, he could learn much from you. Or we could just ask Natalie, who do you think is cuter? I don't think it's my place to judge. So like you are the sole decider, come on, I want to know. Don't worry, you won't offend me with your choice. They're not going to let me go. Well... Oh... Okay. I was thinking this earlier. I was going to complain at the end of the video on how it's not giving you much choices or options in this game. It's just reading and reading, which yes, are most visual novels. But a lot of visual novels do have choices every once in a while. I'm going to say Kylie. Kylie, the little hopping is way more cute and adorable than both of them. I agree, she's a type you just want to hug. Oh, that's a totally different type of cute. But I have to agree, when she gets flustered, she gets all shy and embarrassed. It's so cute. Want to know something interesting? Are you trying to spread a juicy rumor major? Perhaps. Well, it's a bit of information that's critical for my child. Let's hear it. He, you're just eager to hear the rumors as the rest of us. Kylie has a big crush on Saul. No way. I have a hard time believing that. It's true. She's had a crush on him since they met. Of course, it's a one-sided relationship when you are the mistress of bad luck. She always making more work for him. Besides, the grump would never consider going out with us meeting the freaks. I'm not so sure. Even though she had a disrespect problem for majority, so it's very complimentary about her. That might be enough to spark the flames of romance. I also heard that Soul once had a secret romance with a non-human. Tell me, I never heard of anything of the sort. I bet it's the story of jaded. I bet you it's the story of jaded love. That would explain everything. 
I'm afraid not. During her second year at the academy, Lena caught him cheating on her. So, cheating? I don't believe it. Lena was never the brightest bulb. That's what she said anyway. She wouldn't go into more detail because it was one of her friends. I've got another case to solve now. Please don't. When I asked, he blew up and was yelling at everything and everyone for hours. Natalie, please promise me. Alright, alright, still, it might mean that Saul could, could be bump into a romantic relationship with Kylie. I hope not. She's too cute for him. Well, Natalie confessed who finds she, she finds cute. I think it's only fair that we do as well. Oh, not that quite pro quite again. Quite quite pro cute. What? Um, we've both been here for a long time. The commander doesn't want people always visiting me. So you both should really go now. Okay, it's okay. I'm positive Natalie would like to hear hear it from you. I'm not going to laugh. Shoot, you're not going to get in you're, ah, you're not getting in trouble because of me. Alright, but you have to tell me someday. Bye, Zuri. Bye. I wish she'd been a little more truth. Ah, I'm messing up again. I wish she'd be a little bit more truthful to herself. I mean, your feelings isn't easy. I'm positive she would have said you were cuter, though. I don't think so. Really? Who do you think she would have said? That's not my place to say. I just can't seem to get good into on this ship. So I'm going to bed for a few hours before I try to start my search into linguistics of every known language ever. If you need any help, just let me know. I'm glad to know I can count on you all. Good night. Sleep well. Aru! There are many civilizations out there. I know, Faye. Trust me. I know. Aru! Sigh. Please stop groaning, both of you. I understand her howling. I really do. It's annoying as it is. It's not nearly as annoying as going through alphabet after alphabet every now and then. We'll find that one that might be it. Hopes are built in the short and seconds, even in the language of the walls walls. From the dust world of walls was the one I was looking for. I have no ability to confident in my answer. With each passing day, the each passing false shuttle trail, my dreams are dying little by little. The truth is disappearing into the fog of deception. We've been at this for two weeks. Two weeks of nothing but decreasing resources and waning morale. I did not think this expedition would take more than two days. I think we should take a break. We are running short on time. Every second that passes and we don't find them is a second that our truth fades away. Natalie, you look awful. You don't look great yourself. Wolfie never looks great. You're the one to, you're one to talk. And the house guide appears. What do you want? You all look like undead zombies. It's burning down the rest of the crew. Maybe between the pointless and surprisement of Zuri, our failure to complete our primary mission. We're a little down right now. I don't see you helping us. I'm the one getting us to the next site where we are going to find the real truth. The real truth that nothing is out there. Let's face it. We're just chasing our tails in the dark. We could try that. We could try chasing Faye's tail in the dark and see if that improves your moods. We're busy here. Get out. I think Kika has a good idea. Oh, you want Natalie to play with her tail? You like being a little floozy with every cute girl you meet? That's not what I meant. That explains your ideas before you go rambling on. We don't, why don't we have some sort of contest or competition to build moral? Wouldn't that be fun? This is an aw- oh, Alright. That's a sudden change of heart. I wanted to have a cooking contest between myself and Wolfie. This would be an excellent chance. And I can show you all how it's done. Let's go get the boss to sign off it. Off on it? Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Major Hackett, this is another request to be paired with another report of no developments. That's the reason we need this, ma'am. Morale is low right now. We need something to distract us from our lack of success so far. You believe this is the correct course of action? Yes, ma'am. I'll consider your request with the Major Pukal's investigation into the next system. That's all we can ask for, Commander. Thank you. If you could excuse me, I have some news for you, Lieutenant Starr. Go ahead, say it. I don't have any secrets. Are you sure? Uh-huh. You can be honest when you're the best. I was just delivered a report from High Command. Are they recalling us? No, this is something closer to home. Lieutenant Starr, it is my sad duty to report the death of President and First Lady Starr. What? Lieutenant Starr, it's my sad duty to report the death of the President and First Lady Starr. So there are multiple stars. Mom? Dad? There was a shuttle accident. I'm sorry. Da da da. I'm so sorry, Kika. So, she is the sole inheritor of this state. 
We coordinated with Alphonse to get her to the nearest spaceport and back home. No. He's prepping the shuttle right now. I said no. I'm staying here. I have a mission. I'm not abandoning it. Heroes don't turn away, especially when y'all need my help more than ever. It's okay. We'll be fine. Shut up, you stupid idiot. I'm fine. I'm fine. I tried to wrap my arm around her shoulder to comfort her, but the tuna pushes me away. She's on the border of sobbing, but she's still putting up a strong face. I said I'm fine. I'm not going home until the mission is complete. But your parents are dead. I know. What can I do for them now? Cry on their graves? I can do that after we save the universe. Kika. This is highly against protocol. Are you sure? Stop asking me that. You can't get rid of me. Very well. I'll, come to my, I'll notify command of your decision. I know she didn't say it, but all of us are here for you. You, you think a heel like me can't deal with this? I didn't cry when they took Blade away from me. I didn't cry my best friend on the Ixion died in the attack, and I'm not crying now. You can all still depend on me. How close are we to dropping out of shift? 30 minutes. Grab a bite to eat, pull yourself together, and then part back in. I want all crew ready. Sir. She should be mourning, not preparing herself for a mission. It's her decision. This is irresponsible, all three of you. I've known Lieutenant Star since she was a trainee star. You want to destroy her, take away this mission from her. Does she even care about her parents? I thought Lupite and Kitsune were supposed to be family oriented. She cares about them more than anything. If you think otherwise, you're blind. Then why? Because we believe in the mission. We believe in the Katajan Space Force. We believe in you. If there's a potential for a mass destruction out there, we have to stop it at any cost. You've told me it a thousand times before now. When you see someone paying part of that bill, you want to back down? No, but... Kika understands that without our navigator, we would be stuck here for two or more weeks until a new one arrived. How far away could our comforts get in that time? We have a potential saboteur, 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 or whatever, on board. We can't afford any delays, any distractions. Richard Pucco, are you admitted to this mission or not? I just wish I didn't have to come to this. We had to give up your life to protect this land, would you? I don't care what you said during your oath. I want to know what Natalie Pucco would do right now. Okay, yeah, another decision. Oh, sorry about that loud, loud sniffle. Um, I guess I could. I could. I made the oath not get my life if this way is required of me. And if it was important and you didn't agree with, and if it wasn't for something important. If you're warning, waiting in confidence now, remember that you can always depend on us. We're here for you, Natalie. You don't need to fear death as long as I'm here. And you can count on me as well. So let's find that damn weapon. If we find the damn weapon, Kika can go home to grieve. Well said. I want to make sure I write a letter home to my family. They're probably worried about me. If things go wrong, I don't want them thinking I hated them. Mom. Re-entry re in progress. Stand by. It feels so empty without Zuri giving me reassuring support up here. Kika's dead pan and Faye isn't saying much either. We need to find something. I need something. Not for my promotion's sake. But for theirs, for my crews, we need something we can rally behind. Reentry successful. Beginning scan. And so begins another leg in our fruitless chase. We should just turn around now for our dear navigator's sake. How about you shut sh shut up for my sake? I've got an eon reading for a shuttle that landed on the planet as well as what I might be what I think might be its exit vector. What? I spin from my seat and spin over the Kika. Moonfall, get up. I want a plant read out now. They are real. There was something that landed on this planet and recently. Since this is another abandoned world in the middle of nowhere, there has to be a reason. Please, let's not be smugglers or their ilk. Please let it be something valuable. Richard Pico, what do you think? Do you think it's worth investigating? Of course I do, let's see star. Work on me getting something better on veterans. And with the ground team prepared to the boot down. Boots down five minutes. No. No what? I want to come with you. Alphonse can do the readings. I thought I made myself clear when he last requested this. You did. My father is de now dead. Let me go. You're clearly not in a stable mindset. I want to do something useful. Anybody can do this. I say let her come with. She'll need the extra manpower without Zuri. I want Zuri to come with. It seems questioning my orders is the theme of today. That is a negative major. No, I decided last time that I wasn't going to go on any expedition to the unknown without her. If I have to play the power card here, I will. 
This is an executive order under the Soto Clause. You're here about to permit Lieutenant Sir to accompany me. I'm not going down there without a trained security officer. Commander will be down a bit quickly. I doubt Sir is going to make any trouble returning to our quarters. So be it, Colonel Nelson. You'll be chatting places with Lieutenant Star. Make your head get you will be you will bear all responsibility for Lieutenant Zuri. Yes, ma'am. If anyone gets hurt down there, if you call, it's on your head. Well, maybe Nat isn't wrong about you, not being such a bad guy. If you do anything stupid out there again, Lizard Bryant, I'm going to make sure you never get any visitors and are cut down to one meal a day. Or not. I'm only letting you come with because Natalie was going to make a fight of it. You both should be thanking her. Is she alright? This is one of those moments when you should keep your big mouth shut. This just doesn't feel right. When did we didn't even let Faye do it with her in depth analysis this time? Aren't we being hasty? There is no such there's not much time. We need to be swift. This is a bleak day when Zuri is one saying we aren't thinking things through. We'll be fine, I'm here. She's right, we are all some of the best of our professions. Though this may be in haste, we can do it. So, back me up. Everyone, be careful. They're right. I'm rushing this operation. I don't think, I don't want Kika to suffer any longer, even if it puts our operation in a state of increased danger. If I'm being hasty, I should stop this now. This is against everything I've followed. Everything I've been taught, I could get killed because of this. Knock it off. Excuse me? I said, knock it off. Tina Star, tell me where you think the shuttle left. Captain Moonfall, I want him to tell a report of the conditions at the last suspected land site. Lieutenant is already stretched and warm up for any potential combat. Everyone, check your gear. Do what I asked and meet me back here in 20 minutes. You heard it. You heard her. Get everything squared away. So it gives me a thumbs up and pat on the back as he walks by. If he was thinking I was being hasty, why didn't he just come out and say it? This is my first real mission and I'm forgetting the basics of mission planning. That's completely unsatisfactory. Stop letting emotions play into your plans, Natalie. I'm ashamed of myself. Don't look so down. We all get caught up in the heat of the moment. What are you still doing here? You should be getting ready if you're not going to take my orders seriously. I'm not letting you come with me. I'd like to see you trying. I will. Did you forget that to stick with you or so? I'm not afraid. I'm just on parole. Oh, that's right. What about your gear? I've got everything I'll need to complete this mission. Where's your radio at? Back in the lab, I expected a sarcastic remark, something about how having double standards is bad. Instead, she gives me that warm smile I enjoy seeing so much. Let's go get it. We can be back before anyone else. Don't tell anyone. They don't need to be worrying that their leader is losing her marbles. I won't. You can trust me. That I can. Can I, though? I move to the key to unlock from my laboratory when a cold shiver runs down my spine. Something is wrong. The door is... It's unlocked. Forgot to lock it? You're kind of scatterbrained today. Despite how true the statement is, I've been careful lately. I didn't want anyone breaking into my lab. I even threw Faye out when I had to go visit the bridge. So I slowly shifting her stance from my regular playful self to some more aggressive, more focused. It's that same stance from when she felt we were in danger from the weather. Get behind me. Be careful. Don't worry. If you're watching my back. Clear. Whoever it was here didn't stay long. I could have just left the lab unlocked. It appears to be untouched since the last time I was here. I'm not going to touch anything. I don't think there is anything to be careful of disturbing. It appears I must have been losing my mind. You must have. Even your papers are still in perfect stat. What? Yep, you're really very, you are very orderly today. I was to say that I am, but I was in a hurry. The papers were in a stack, sure, but it certainly wasn't a very pretty one. I did a quick inventory of my documentation and ugly sketches. Everything is here unaccounted. Even if they had taken any of these, there is nothing to be gleaned from them. Mindful drawings of symbols I can't remember don't have any intellectual value. Anyone who would have seen them would know. I suppose that I would exonerate Faye or so. Both of them would have known that there was nothing of value in the pages. Zuri so was locked up in her room. So there's, no, ah, so there's no way she could have done it. Besides, Zuri has already proven her innocence to me. That leaves Commander Rasuna, Colonel Nelson, Major Tenzin, Lieutenant Star and Flight Officer Miggy, or Midgey, Mig I don't know. All of them have been alone in the last 30 minutes. But the last time they smashed up the data pass, why didn't they take these pictures? Because they were worthless. Even if someone stole them, there would be nothing of value lost. But whoever did this did not try to very hard to conceal their presence here. I doubt the doctor or commander would be so sloppy. 
Lieutenant Star and Officer Miggy are the two primary suspects. Clay doesn't seem to be very detailed, and Kika is currently distraught. But you thought she was adorable. Carly is too cute to do something like this. Cute does not make one innocent. And why is Kika distraught? Stupid soul wouldn't tell me. Kika lost her parents today. She just found out the news. I told her that she should just took some time off for everything to sink in. But she refused. It's like she doesn't care. She does care. That's what Soul said as well. I understand why she wants to stay. But she searched this one out. It only makes her more suspicious in my eyes. But a dedicated warrior would appear to do the same thing as an insidious spy. I know why... I know. Why couldn't this mission have been something simple? Blow up ship dock. Easy. It's during the most trying of times that we learn who we truly are and who your friends are. Yep. Parents, huh? Aren't Kinsune very close to their parents? We put... Or incredibly close to their families. Kinsune not as much. They're so tight. Oh. You sound like you don't care for yours. I really don't have one. Dream ends lay nests in the middle of the wilderness. Our young survive, learn to survive and are brought into the fold of society as they grow. This is incredible and neglectful. I don't think so. It was fun and excitement every day. The only that hurt they survive. Perhaps it's why Zorari thinks that the warriors have to be these brawn muscle heads. I guess the closest thing to a family I have is my hatchmates. They all learn to protect each other. Most don't survive, but some of my hatchmates made it to civilization with me. Like how we, my brothers and sisters, kinda. We aren't blood related by blood. But you are cl as close as any of your families. Want to know something really embarrassing? Not if I had to feel something equally embarrassing. This one is a freebie. I was hoping as a spirit that I'd be able to have something like that here. Silly, right? No, not at all. I'd be happy if we could have that sort of relationship here. Though I'd also like if we could respect the rank structure as well. Hehehehe. <laughs> Come on, I've got my radio on lock up again. We've got a mission to fulfill. Okay, guys, I am going to end it here. Um, it's getting late. It's almost 2 a.m. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Um, I guess nothing really happened too much in this video except for, you know, her parents dying and such. But nothing too action-y or anything. But, you know, I wonder who's the one that's messing with the data pad. I wonder if it's one, you know, one of the people on the ship or if it's someone completely new. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe we'll find out next time. I'll see you guys then.